You probably think you've discovered much of WA during this period, but have you visited the only UNESCO biosphere in Western Australia? A biodiversity hotspot recognised internationally as critically important to the world's natural heritage. I am, of course, talking about the stunning region of the Fitzgerald River National Park and its renowned Fitzgerald biosphere. The gateway to the park is the town of Ravensthorpe, and every year they celebrate the region's unique and spectacular biodiversity with a flower show unlike any other. This is the Ravensthorpe Wildflower Show. Mm -hmm. It's considered to be the biggest wildflower show of its kind in the world. And how many plants are on, on display at the moment? I think we've probably got 700 here at the moment. We have the plants are identified, they're in flower, and they're all clarified by botanists. To make something like this happen, there's a huge team behind you, isn't there? We have over 200 uh, volunteers, wow. and considering we only have about 2,500 here in the region, in, in the Ravensorp Shire, that's probably around about 8%. Now, what makes the region so unique? Yep. This is a really remarkable region. I think we've been isolated for some time, and so we have diverse geology and we have diverse plants, we have diverse people. Tell me, when, is it run exactly the same time each year? Yeah, we're usually within the second week of September yep. for 13 to 14 days. Mm -hmm. So pickers are constantly out there picking. And we have uh, licensed pickers. Mm -hmm. We also have landholders. A lot of the farmers who may have cleared land yep. in their younger days, and any remnant bush that they have, they protect it. Yep. And they can come and pick and bring them in every year. The show is truly beautiful, a great snapshot of what you can expect to discover when exploring this unique and truly remarkable region of WA. But it's not just here that you'll find these beautiful species. And a two-wheel drive tag-along tour with Malcolm Grant will take you to all the right places and give you insight and perspective that only a former park ranger could share. Tell me, what does a tag-along tour mean when you come for a tour with you? Oh, rightio then. So um, having that opportunity to be employed by um, state government historically and uh, working in the National Park, mm -hmm. I tried to bring an element with this tag-along tour of providing uh, members of the public with an idea of how we actually go about managing the National Park and some of the management issues associated. Mate, the environment here is spectacular. The plants are so unique. There's so many completely unique to this location. That's correct, Trevor. Many of these plants have evolved to these uh, quartzite landscapes, and uh, in particular, the blue-leafed um, red-flowered regilia is an endemic to East Mount Barron and found right. else, nowhere else in the National Park. The view is spectacular. I imagine you see all sorts of things, whales swimming through. Water spouts. <laughs> really? Yeah. Seriously? Absolutely. Oh. Unbelievable weather conditions prevail along the south coast. So, yeah, natural events as well as those with um, animals involved. Now this really is a wonderful experience. And whether you choose to explore the region by yourself or with Malcolm's expertise and learn more about it, doesn't matter. You are going to love this amazing biosphere that all West Australians should check out. It is unique, it is ours, and it's time to get here. Next year will be the 40th anniversary of the Ravensthorpe Wildflower Festival. And it's a great reason to head down here. For more information, check out this website.